Okay, so this tutorial is going to be on audio. Some people would say that audio and video are separate and you can treat them separate, but I still like to think you want to do your audio first, okay? Because when you think about it, you build your AMV around your audio. So it would make most sense to just do your audio first. So that's what we're going to do here. And there's really only one thing you need to know about audio, and that is use uncompressed wave audio, okay? Please try not to just drag and drop your mp3 into your editor. That could work, and your program might be able to handle it, but you don't want to take that chance, because it could lead to all sorts of problems. It could make your program slow, it could lead to synchronization issues, or, worst of all, it could lead to nasty program crashes, and uh, like I said earlier, you don't want to edit your entire AMV and find out at the end when you're rendering your video <laughs> that it's not rendering the way you want it to, or it just crashes. That would suck. So, convert to an editing-friendly format, in this case, uncompressed wave. There's a couple ways of getting this. One way is just to get it in wave format to begin with. You can use a number of different programs to rip from CDs directly to wave. You can even use Windows Media Player. Let's just actually do that here. Um, go to Tools, Options, Rip Music, and change this to Wave Lossless. Just apply that, go OK. I'm not going to rip it for you. Um, there's so many programs out there that you can do that. Just make sure that you get WAV Audio. Wave Audio, however you want to pronounce it. If you don't have Wave Audio to begin with, and let's say you have MP3 files, hopefully you got them legitimately, <laughs> you'll need to convert them. So, just uh, let's go to Audacity. That's what it's called. Uh, and just click the first link. It doesn't really matter where you get it from. Go to the download section. I'm using Windows 7, so this is the version I want. It's a beta version, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just click that. Ooh, how many links do they got? Install. I'll take this one. It's an installer, okay, that means it's going to, um, an executable installer going to download and, and install it on your computer. So download it to a location that you're familiar with, just like we did with the AMV app. Okay, there it is. That's the Audacity executable. Now, I could just double-click this to run the file, but if you have the option to right-click it and run as administrator, please do so, okay? You, because you might not have administrative rights on your computer, but this will, you know, uh, make it install more correctly. So select the language, go next, to next, uh, pretty much just click next to everything. Oh, I already have it installed, I'm just going to reinstall it in the same location, so I'll click next. Please do create a desktop icon. Click next, install. This might take a while depending on how fast your computer is, but uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Next, uh, we're not just going to launch it right now, let's just uncheck that and finish, because we'll launch it separately a special way that I'm going to show you. So, I already showed you that we got our mp3 file here. If you want to convert it, the easy way to do it is to just drag and drop it onto the icon. Okay, and this is an easy way of launching any file with a particular program. That's the advantage of having a desktop icon. You can just drag and drop it. It makes everything so much easier. If you want, you could play around with the program. Audacity is a really cool program, actually. You can do a lot with it. And in this case, though, I don't want to do anything. I just want to go File, um, Export, and we'll want to save to Wave. 16-bit, I think that's the only option there, so yeah, let's go with that. Let's just save it to the desktop, because that's a location I'm familiar with. Let's name it... Um, yeah, Music File, I like that name. <laughs> save. You don't need to fill any of this, just go OK. There you go. So now if I close this, I don't need to save anything. On my desktop, I have my nice uncompressed wave audio, and I can just drag and drop that into my ed editing program. Um, it might help right now if you just start organizing your files. So right click, make a new folder, let's just call it Project One, and let's put that in there. You can even organize it further if you want by making other folders like let's just say audio. Because you might have number of a number of audio files that you'll be working with. Maybe another folder called uh, clips when you render your video. Maybe another one called I don't know, let's say project projects. Because you'll have project files, probably Magix, Veg uh, Vegas, Premiere, whatever. So organize it how you want. And then 
all you have to do is just drag and drop it into your editor and there's your audio right there. Turn up the volume a bit, maybe you can hear that. Anyways, so there you go. You have a nice stable WAV file that you can use. Once you've done that, you might want to do some audio editing, and that's what the next video tutorial is going to be about.